Hello there guys and welcome to this X-Plan 11 video. Many of you have been asking me to do a video on X-Vision, how to install X-Vision and how to make changes to the presets. X-Vision is essentially a visual enhancement application for X-Plan 11. It changes everything from the sky colors to clouds and even the shaders to create a dramatic visual experience in the flight simulator. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you exactly how to install X-Vision. We're going to make changes to some of the available presets. I'm going to also provide you with an alternate preset that you can use. So without further ado, let's get started. Once you have successfully completed the purchase and download of the required files, simply extract the contents to a folder of your liking. Please remember that you don't have to place XVision inside your Xplane 11 installation folder. It can be anywhere on your PC and on any drive. In my case, it is on the F drive. And this is the XVision folder I created to host the files. When you open the XVision folder for the first time, you will probably not see most of these files. You will definitely not see the backup folder, but you will see the xvision.exe. Before you actually install Xvision, it is highly recommended that you update Xplane to the latest version. To do this, proceed to your Xplane 11 installation folder and click on the Xplane 11 installer.exe here. Select Update Xplane. Make sure that you check for new betas as well as updates. If you don't wish to experiment with Xplane 11 betas, make sure that this button is unchecked. Once you are ready, click on Continue to update Xplane to the latest version. Once you have successfully completed the update of Xplane 11, proceed to your Xvision folder. Locate and double click your xvision.exe file. The installation process will commence and you will be asked for your activation key. Xvision will automatically create a backup folder to host all the files that will be later replaced when you apply any of the available presets. Once this process is complete, we are now ready to use Xvision. Please note that if you intend to use any of the Xvision Lua presets, Fly with Lua NG is a prerequisite. It needs to be installed in your plugins folder. Also, please note that Xvision will automatically disable all the scripts in your Fly with Lua scripts folder. Let's take a quick look. If we browse to our Xplane 11 installation, Resources, Plugins, Fly with Lua, Scripts, as you can see, all the Lua scripts have been disabled automatically, including XP Realistic. The only active one is the impressive preset. Uh, Lua script, as you can see here. To enable the Lua script, again, we right click and we're just going to remove the special character here and hit enter and we're going to say yes. And now the XP Realistic Lua will be working fine when we load the sim. The Xvision interface is quite simple. The left vertical menu gives you the ability to create a new solution, open an existing one, save the solution, save the solution with a new name, check for problems, apply adjustments and install resources, restore from backup, activation, show help, which will take you to the Xvision website, information about Xvision, and you can quit the application here. The upper horizontal menu gives you the info of the current solution loaded in your Xvision interface, the shaders, and the resources and scripts. Currently, we have the um, Impressive Lua um, preset loaded and to load it, uh, you can come here and say Open Solution and as you can see now, I have all the available presets and we are going to select the Impressive preset for Lua. Now that we have the Impressive for Lua preset loaded, let's head over to the Shaders tab. The Shaders tab has a lot of different options and each option has different parameters that you can manipulate to change the visual experience inside Xplane 11. If you wish to look at the kind of effects that you'll have once you change any of these options or their respective parameters, click on Images. 
For parameters containing image examples, clicking on that particular button will take you to the Xvision website specifically to that parameter. It will explain the parameter. We'll give you a couple of examples of before and after. As you can see here, this is the um, sky saturation before applying the parameter, and this is after. Here is a second example of how things look like in the sim once this parameter is applied. Please note that this is the only parameter that I have manipulated in the Impressive for Lua preset in all my videos. I have added sky saturation to this particular preset and I have changed the parameter to 1. The resources in the skirts tab will give you a full view of all the resources that will be replaced once the preset is activated. As you can see, the 11.3 Impressive Lua script will be installed in your resources plugins fly with Lua script. Remember, once you activate the preset, all the other scripts in that folder will be disabled. You will have to manually re-enable them. Also, if you look here at the lights.txt file, the uh, checkbox is unticked. I have done this intentionally as I have my own lights modded file, which I don't want the Xvision to replace. This is particularly useful even if you have uh, different sky colors or cloud puffs that you do not want Xvision to replace, but you still want to make use of the shaders, for example. In order to exclude any of the resources, simply untick the box. To include them, simply tick it again. And now you are ready to apply the preset. Simply click on this tilted triangle here and it will apply all the adjustment and install the resources. Once that's done, we need to restart the simulator for all the changes to take effect. Well, folks, this pretty much brings us to the conclusion of our video today. I am going to be providing you with a link to the Xvision plugin, as well as an alternate uh, preset called the Vivid preset. I found this to be a really nice preset that you can use. I'm going to also provide you with a link to the Fly with Lua plugin, for Xplain 11, and if you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye bye for now.